Hey there my Zaniacs. Today I'm making eggnog. Of course when you first start, when you look at eggs, I always use the pasteurized eggs which carries less of a chance of um, foodborne illness. I mean there's a very 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 tiny chance even if you don't use the pasteurized ones. But um, we will be using raw egg for this recipe. And we're going to separate them, yolks into the big bowl, and whites into the smaller. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, now that I have my yolks separated from my whites, which are not going to come into play for a little bit, I'm going to be using my uh, mixer to get these nice and fluffy and ready to add sugar to. So I will be back so you don't have to listen to my mixer. This is what your yolk should look like as when you're done mixing. And I have my cup of sugar here. And what we're going to do, we're going to add just a little bit at a time. I mean a little bit. And each time you add a little bit, you're going to mix it. And you're going to continue doing this until your whole entire cup of sugar is integrated into those yolks. So I will be back as soon as I'm done doing that. Okie doke, here we have it. At this point of the process, we're going to be adding about three quarters of this half gallon container of half and half. Um, I usually buy two quarts, but it's either three fourths of a half gallon or a quart and a half, depending on which kind you buy, which size, whatever. But uh, that much of the two quarts is going to be going into this bowl. I'm going to see if I can do this one handed because this thing's kind of heavy. And I'm only going to wing it because it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all going to go in anyway. Not all at once though. Okay. Now, that's about three fourths of it. What I'm going to do also, I'm going to add half of these egg whites. Okay, and we're going to give it a nice big mix. Oh gosh, why am I... This new camera, I don't know how to... Um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'll get there. But this is where you mix it again, and I will be back. And we are back. We have our big bowl of a whole bunch of cream and uh, yolks all sitting over there. Because we need to work on the rest of these egg whites here. And what we're going to do, we are going to mix this up and gradually add a half a cup of powdered sugar until we have some very soft peaks. And I will be back as soon as I get those. But make just uh, keep in mind, mixing in the powdered sugar requires a lot of force. That powdered sugar does not necessarily like to work well with you. So it's going to take some extra mixing and you'll get there. It's, it's not bad. It's just, it takes a little extra. So I'll be back. And there we have it. Some very foamy egg whites with some uh, powdered sugar, half a cup. Now all you do at this point is you grab your other big bowl and you mix both of these components together. Why is it doing that? Hey, focus. Oh god, this camera. I like it, but I don't know it yet. Alright. Anyway, I will be back as soon as I have this put into a container. And I will show you what all is going on. Here we have it all stirred together. All three components. Our regular yolks with the cream and the sugar our egg whites with our half cup of uh, powdered sugar and the rest of our uh, half and half so now at this point all you do is add it into a container cover it and put it in your fridge and let me see I don't know 
if it lasts longer than three days, it never has, uh, it gets drunk too quick around here. So, um, yeah, you have it at least three days. It probably go about a week. Uh, enjoy your eggnog and you, you know, you can always top it with some, uh, nutmeg or cinnamon or both, or you can add it into a mixture here if you would like. Um, I prefer to top it myself, but, uh, I will be back with some pictures.